Hi, this is Ross from Ross Art and Craft and I bring you part one of a series of videos where we go through the steps and stages of colouring in one of my colouring sheets. These are from a collection of colouring sheets by myself and in a previous video I showed you the range and how they come and in that video I said I would go through using this Gorilla Design sheet um, to show you how to plan and colour in your colouring sheet. So today I'm doing the planning stage with you. So if you didn't see the previous video, um, this is the actual colouring sheet that comes a bit different to standard colouring sheets, it's not an outline, um, I actually use the uh, shadows to create a guide for you and when you get your sheet you get both this guide sheet in full colour which is my original artwork and then the colouring sheet I've created using that artwork. So this is a 160 gram uh, cartridge paper so it will take pencil crayons, it will take watercolour to a certain extent but you, you won't take it if it's sopping wet. It will take acrylics, felt pens, uh, alcohol markers, inks, various different mediums um, but today I'm going to show you using pencil crayon. So for this I'm going to put this colouring sheet to one side because what I want to do today is to concentrate on the colours that are on this colouring sheet. This, well not the colouring sheet, this guide. So I'm using Derwent pencils, uh, Colour Soft pencils. I have already, from the pencils I've got, sorted out the ones that I potentially don't need. That doesn't mean I won't come back to those later and add extra colours. But what I've gone through is basically picked out all my blues. Um, you'll see some purple in there, um, some greys, some browns and what have you. So at this stage, I need that selection of colours. But I also just want a couple of strips of cartridge paper to test my colours on. So I'm going to work through the blues first of all. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work these blues. Let me find the blue first. I'm going to work these blues at the edge of my swatch paper, as I call it. So, like so. So that with it being on the edge, I can actually put it up to the picture and see if that is going to work anywhere for me. I can see that at this moment in time that this is a similar colour here. Okay, I'm just gonna grab uh, a pale lavender. This one was iced blue. I'm just gonna work some pale lavender over the top of that one. You'll find there'll be lots of layering. And in doing that, I've created it much closer to the colour on the picture. So I know this iced blue is going to work. And I also know this lilac's going to come in as well. And if I put a swatch of that, uh, oh, pale lavender, I'm calling it lilac. Um, it's a, I want something a bit brighter than that in that area. But this will come in for overlaying with other blues. Um, so next one I'm going to do, I'm going to get my jar. I've just got a jar that I can drop my pencils in so it saves them running off. Um, I'm just going to try this one next. And this one's blue. And I think this one is possibly too bright for what I'm after. So I've just done it slightly lighter there. And I'm yeah, I don't think that blue is going to work. So I'm going to discard that one. Um, let's bring out another blue. So I'm just swatching down the, the piece of paper and I'm just lining it up to various different areas just to see if it will come in. This is starting to work here. It might need overlaying with 
I think that might be too dark, but let's have a look. Oh no. Let's just put some grey over the top of that one. Um, and I can see that potentially could come in in some some areas. So we'll pop that in. It might come back out again at a later stage. Oops. Um, I'm going to pop this grey in as well because I can already see that that's going to work too. Um, right, let's just get all the blues out and we can work through all the blues I've collected. Let's just have a look. Is that a blue? That's the indigo. Um, can you see another blue? No, I think that is all my blues. So um, this one's the indigo. And already I can see that, yes, that is going to come in in various different places. And a swatch of this one, which I think is pale blue. And that one, I think this one actually needs working with another colour over the top. Um, and I'm thinking potentially, instead of the lilac... I think that one might be too bold, but I think I put a pale peach. Yeah, pale peach. Though, as I said previously, there'll be lots of overlaying colours. And working a pale peach over the top of that, it brings into the colour in line with some of the um, areas on here. So the combination of those two pencils together are a winning team. So we'll pop those in um, and let's move on to the next blue. So that one's a bit bright, but again, if we, if I go back to the pale peach and overlay that over the top and it brings it in line with the color. So again, teamed with the pale peach, that's going to work too. I've got one last blue here. What have we got here? This is ultramarine. And I can see that that's going to come in as well. If I go back with my lilac and go on top of that with the lilac, I can see that that's going to be coming into this nose area here. So those two for definite. I've got the... Uh, peach here and peach is potentially going to come in in some of the different areas I'm going to put a long bands down here because I'm just going to bring that grey back the steel grey that we picked earlier and take that over the pale peach there and can you see that it's going to come in for under the brow there with that colouring in there we might come across something that's going to work better for that at a later date um, let's just have a look at some more of the greys we've got a dove grey here so that in itself is going to work I've got a, an area here I've got some in here that's going to work on its own but if I just layer that as well so yeah, so there's two greys already. Um, let's go for a darker grey. So yeah, the darker grey is going to come in as well. And pop that, pear, that peach in, that grey. I'm just quickly scribbling through these. Oh, this is another, this is cloud grey, uh, cloud blue even. Cloud blue is potentially going to come in it'll probably get overlaid with another blue to be honest if I just have a look at these areas here so um, I'll just put another blue over the top and yeah so that's going to work as a, a blending blue um, let's just pick some more greys out so we've got another grey here. This one's mid-grey. 
And there's lots of grey in here, so yeah, that's going to come in as well. And this one's very dark indeed. Um, I think this is petrol grey, but the colours, the colour names come off. So that one's going to work really well. And in actual fact, if we get a, what's this one? This one's lichen green. If I bring this in here, I was looking at areas up here for the lichen green. And if I overlay that with this petrol grey, it takes it down. And so that also comes in there as well. So the lichen green and the petrol grey are coming in. Um, what else have we got? I put some greeny blues in here. So we've got sea green and grey green. Now you'd probably think these are too greeny um which yes on their own they probably are but you can see what i'm thinking here and if i bring that um baby blue back in and work that on top we've got some potential there for the um the uh, gray green and i'm going to flip this over and start again and this is the C green. And if I combine that with one of the greys, and it's possible I might need a darker grey. Let's go for that. Whoops. Petrol grey in there. I might have to do this again. But that's got the colouring coming up here for that. So if I just swatch that again, so there's not so many layers. And put the petrol green over the top. And we've got some colours matching up there. Okay, so I'm going to pop those in. I also need some lilac uh, or purple. Because I actually have uh, purple areas coming in here. So if I just grab the selection, I've already got one lilac -y colour, but I've just got some purples here. And I can already see that that's actually too dark for what I want and it's too pinky. So that one's discarded, as is that one. Um, this is a fuchsia, yet yeah, again might be okay as a lighter let's have a look mm, too pinky but i mean that might come in i might fetch it back out again and then we've got this is bright lilac so yeah that's going to come in with the um lavender that i've already picked so um that's going to work quite nicely with perhaps the iced blue which one? That's the ice blue. Bring that over the top of there. And you've got a nice combination there. So finally, I've got this one's Lincoln Green. Which is similar to the lichen. You can see where I'm going with that. And I'd want to overlay that with a, probably a pale grey like so to bring into here okay and up into here so lichen green is a go um i've got some browns now because i've got brown in the eyes so uh we've got terracotta this might actually be too yeah it's too orange that is um Okay, so let's go for mid-brown. That's more like it, and I'd probably actually add in a cream on top of that or something like that to bring that in to that colour there. So I already know now that I'm going to need this cream and this mid-brown. And let's have a look. What have we got? This is blackberry. 
so this is more of a purpley colour so um, just having a look under the, um, under the lid here you've got a similar sort of colour which overlaid with a grey maybe let's just pinch this grey out of the pot here overlaid with a grey is going to come in for that under lid as well yeah okay so that black breeze going in um this one is dark brown dark brown is is going to come in as well not so much for the eyes but in areas under the chin under the lips okay what do i have got here earth brown this tends to have a ready finish to it Mm, yeah, there might be a bit into this eye here, um, into the nose here, so we'll pop that in, uh, brown, black, this one is well used if you see how small it is, and yeah, that's going to come in, obviously one of my favourites, and brown, uh, not so sure about that one possibly i'm going to put that one in because i think combined with perhaps the one of the paler blues it has the potential of coming in in areas so yeah so i'll put those ones in and then finally i've got a couple more colors my top out of the way um I've got white and grey white. These I'm going to use for blending more than anything else um, and just toning some colours down. So those are always a, sta a staple. I've got a light sand here, okay, which I thought might come in for the eye there and potentially with mixing with the blue or the greens. Let's just find bring that blue over the top and you've got I've probably taken the yellow too dark but yeah so combining that with that and last but not least there's this guy here grey lavender uh, just having a look let's mix it with a bit of blue Yeah, that might come in. I'm just going to do another swatch and put a pale grey with it. Yeah, that's going to come in as well. So that's going to be in the layering of the colours. So that was simply just swatching the colours out and I've put them in just a glass jar so that I can keep those separate while I'm working on this project and know where my colours are. From there I'm now going to make a plan very quickly. I just need a another piece of cartridge paper. Okay, Ooh, I've got two. And a pencil would be good. Just snuffle the pencil out of my um Pens. Right, okay, so I'm going to take these colours now and I'm just going to create a, um, a guide. So I'm going to on here, I'm just going to note down, first of all, I'm going to go for eyes and what colours I'm going to need mainly for the eyes. So if I bring these all out of here, it's going to be a bit messy. Okay. I'm rushing through this quite quickly because you can take your time um, but I'm very conscious that you're having to watch a video of me just scribbling away. So I'm just quickly going to bring this light sand colour in as well and um, probably some... Um, 
grey in here maybe. Wrong grey. Uh, so I'm just swatching down here. That's better. And some of the indigo probably to go in there. And there's probably some purples into this eye here. So these are the basic colours by the looks. Obviously you'd alter them depending on. And so if I just swizz these round, so I've got the names and then I'd make a note of those names. So I've got brown, mid brown, light sand, dove grey and indigo. And there probably should be, if I can find it, a petrol blue in there as well. I think that was a shorter pencil, wasn't it? There it is. Let's just put some of that in. Yeah, okay, so, and petrol blue, uh, grey even, all oh my life. Okay, so that's covered the eye. And then I'd go through and I'd do the brow colours the uh, forehead, the nose, the mouth, the chin. And so I just do this for uh, each section, doing a swatch of overlaid colours so that I know what I'm mixing for each section. So um, when I come back in the next video, we'll take this to the next stage. Um, and I'll have all these done for all the different areas that we'll be working in. So break down your colours and make a list of the areas that you're going to use them in. And have a play with overlaying different colours so that you can see how they build and how they work together. But you'll see more of that as we actually work on the colouring sheet itself. Okay, so if you want to uh, get a copy of the gorilla for yourself so that you can work through with me on these videos go to rossarmandcraft.com and look up the colouring sheets in the product menu um, and it will show you a whole range of the colouring sheets available and the gorilla is as I said before available in either a digital download or a physical copy Physical copy is £1.50, but you will need to put postage and packing on top of that. And uh, a digital download is £2.50, but you can instantly download it and print it off on whatever paper you want or every any surface you want. And you can do it as many times as you like. So that's it for now. I shall see you again in part two and we'll actually start colouring in some of the areas of the gorilla on the colouring sheet itself. Look forward to uh, seeing you then. Thanks for joining me.